Okay, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to Adelaide Zoo. Here at Adelaide Zoo, we have the one remaining hippo and uh, his name is Brutus and he's 53 years of age. Brutus is the oldest hippo in Australasia. And uh, see what he does uh, this afternoon. I've just given him some loosened hay just to entice him out of the water. So you can see the, you know, his sheer size. But, uh, today he might do a couple of laps in the pool first before he decides to come out. He's a bit of a show off before. You can see he's uh, showing you his teeth. Doing that big yawn. Come on, Brutus. Okay, unfortunately we lost Brutus's mate last year, uh, Susie. Uh, she died of old age complications and she was 50 years of age. So, uh, unfortunately we lost Susie and so we've got uh, our remaining uh, male hippo. So uh, we have relaxed his uh, management uh, since he's been uh, on his own. But, uh, Brutus and Susie actually arrived here uh, in Adelaide in 1975. And uh, Brutus and Susie had a, a long relationship and uh, uh, certainly produced uh, a number of offspring um, in that time and they're still represented in uh, several zoos around Australia and um, Singapore as well. Come on Brutus, you going to come out? So, uh, you know, with his old age, you know, he has uh, a little bit of difficulty getting out of the pool at times, you know, using his head and chin just to lift his, uh, his body up. So, uh, Generally, hippos will uh, stay in the water during the heat of the day and uh, um, once the sun starts to set and cool down a bit, uh, they're known to travel a good 10 kilometres you know, or so away from their water. And obviously with humans encroaching on their territory, living along rivers and lakes, um, unfortunately hippos are getting into farmers' crops. So they're doing a lot of damage to farmers' uh, uh, fencing as well as uh, getting into their crops and, uh, and uh, spending a lot of time consuming their <laughs> the food. Yeah, obviously, the hippo knows where a really nice lush pasture is and it'll continue you know, going back to that same, same spot each time. So, obviously, uh, unfortunately, the farmers are going to shoot them and kill them. But, uh, also, I certainly wouldn't want to come across a, a wild hippo while walking through a, a local village because uh, again they're very territorial, very uh, unpredictable and very quick on their feet too. Uh, they can run around about 30 kilometers an hour on land. And with those little legs. They can run very fast. <laughs> so yes, they are very territorial. Um, they're very protective over their females and offspring. And uh, they will tolerate other young males in their territory but uh, once a big mature bull comes along they can fight for days on end and this could lead to the death uh, of one of the hippos. So generally a male will hang on to its territory for around about 10 years before it's jousted by a uh, stronger mature bull. So uh, once the hippo's under the water, Brutus's uh, skin will you know, dry out fairly quickly even on a day like this and uh, eventually you might see Beads of moisture starting to appear on his body. Uh, he's also got a lot of algae on his back at the moment, which we're trying to manage. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, you'll see beads of sweat, um, viscous membrane uh, appear. And it acts like a sunscreen, a skin moisturizer, but it has an amazing antiseptic ability as well. So um, if I see any nicks and cuts or abrasions, I'll keep it out. Of them, even take a photograph for reference. Uh, but it's amazing how quickly these heal out, just purely through these um, eddies uh, <laughs> on their skin. Right, so um, the longevity for hippos in the wild is around about 30 to 40 years. Uh, in captivity, it's uh, 50 to 60 years of age. And as I said, Brutus is 53. He's not doing too badly at the moment, but he's you know, like me, he's suffering from arthritis. <laughs> so I know how he feels some mornings. So uh, we are managing um, British and with some medication in his morning food and his PM food.
that um, your gestation period for a hippo is around about eight months, which is rather short, you know, period of time for a large mammal compared to other species. And uh, the female will generally give birth in the water. So once she gives birth, she'll uh, assist that youngster up to the surface so it can gain its first breath. And that youngster will suckle for the mum underwater as well. It's about about six to eight months before it's weaned off the mum. But it's, um, it's a pretty hard life, you know, you know in the beginning for a, a, a baby hippo. Um, unfortunately, you know, living in uh, possibly a small herd of 12 individuals or you know, up to well over 100 individuals. Uh, unfortunately, the you know, young hippo is either going to get uh, accidentally squashed and drowned. So uh, it's not a, a huge amount of um, success with the uh, newborns. We also have a uh, pygmy hippo, um, he's uh, behind me, and uh, uh, our pygmy hippo's name's Obi, and he's only three and a half years of age, so you know, he's actually a solitary animal where obviously Buddhists are uh, living in you know, uh, family you know, groups or herds. Uh, so unfortunately, once uh, Buddhists depart, uh, we'll concentrate on the pygmy hippo species, so uh, we're in search of a female for um, Obi. So Obi's just sitting, you know, relaxing in his swallow at the moment. Um, he should be up and about uh, later in the afternoon, so he, he can be quite active later in the day. Also, you know, with the uh, uh, elephant ivory being an illegal trade, uh, the hippo is uh, the next species to be persecuted. Uh, obviously, uh, poachers will uh, um, hunt down a hippo and uh, kill the hippo and chop off the, the tusks and uh, seen them often be, you know, you know, carved like your elephant ivory. Uh, I actually saw some statistics uh, a couple of weeks ago and uh, just over 1,200 people have been killed by hippos in the last 12 months in Africa. So hippos, as I said, are very unpredictable, very territorial and very, very dangerous. So thank you very much for listening and enjoy the rest of the day here at Adelaide Zoo. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye.